Greg Shapiro, the American Netherlander, with today's news nugget. President Trump announces a unilateral travel ban with Europe, or as he puts it, America first, the Netherlands somewhere after Britain and Ireland where I have my golf courses. And it's true, the Netherlands has been criticized for having a corona containment strategy known as do normal, or don't take any unnecessary risks. But now the Dutch Prime Minister has announced new strict rules banning public gatherings of 100 people or more, such as comedy shows. Well, you can still do the show, you just can't have a crowd. If your public gathering is under 100 people, then apparently it's okay. Especially if your handshakes are elbows only. Heck, we did a better job than the Prime Minister, who concluded his no more handshakes rule with a handshake. But wait, now I have to think of last Saturday when I hosted a comedy show in the Dutch province of Brabant, aka Outbreak Central. I even went with public transport. And I found out on the way there that the government issued a warning to Brabant, don't go out if you don't have to, so I thought maybe the show would be cancelled. But it was sold out! We went on stage and said, you idiots, you're the reason this outbreak is spreading! But the crowd didn't mind, one guy in the front row even identified himself as Patient Zero. Did I get infected? So I'm checking the Dutch COVID page in English and it says there is an incubation period of 2 to 12 days. Well, today's day 6 and still nothing. But I could be infected without showing symptoms. Not unless you're coughing and sneezing, which I'm not. But am I infectious during the incubation period? Again, no. So in the end, I did a comedy show in Brabant and all I got was this lousy selfie. Now, does this mean that I'm advocating going to comedy shows anyway? No, I realized that ship has sailed. The panic is out of the horse. You're just gonna sit on your couch streaming comedy any way you can, which is why I took the precaution of putting my comedy album on Spotify, The Madness of King Donald, a Trump survival guide. So if you want to support a struggling artist who may have the COVID virus, I totally don't. Please check out my album on Spotify.